Welcome to Old Rifle 1898, where we share our passions for rifles, their history, and the pleasure of shooting them. Now, today I'm gonna talk about the rifles that we should buy right now. You know, today is the good old days of the future. Let me tell you a story. I bought this Mosin Nagant back in 2015 for about $157. Now, you cannot get them below, let's say, $325. In five years, they doubled the cost. So, what I'm telling you is that something that is obvious and you might think that they will be there forever, they don't, okay? So, I had no, uh, no rifle, no 22 rifle, so I decided to buy one. And what I stumped into was that there were many, many 22 semi-auto uh, rifles at a very real bargain prices. Let me show you. Instead of buying a Ruger 1022 for 250 or more dollars, I bought this uh, Stevens rifle. This rifle is uh, from, nine, from the 1950s and it's uh, now it looks beautiful. It was not that, it didn't look that good back when I bought it. It didn't have the scope or the sling. That's something that I just threw on top because I had, I had it, uh, spares on my, you know, my cabinet. But, uh, this rifle, I just spent, like I said, uh, under $60 for it and then with a uh, one sheet of sandpaper about 20 cents of uh, wood stain and about a dollar out of this uh, varnish can of, of, of spray can and I was able to bring back a, a, a good finish to a rifle that looked uh, complete, but the, the looks of it was not the best. Now it looks really good. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of this rifle and it's way shit. All these uh, tubular magazine uh, rifles that they, they, they can hold 15 rounds on the tube, they shoot great and very, uh, very, very reliable. I have shot this uh, like 300 rounds through it right now and, and it has been really, really reliable. So these won't be here forever. You can find these kind of rifles in uh, 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 makes like Higgins, Stevens, uh, even Sears. Talking about Sears models, this is a uh, 1960s, uh, early 70s rifle, and it looks all beaten up. Yeah, this will go through the same treatment. I'll repair the stock with very few dollars in cost and I'll, I, I tested this, this rifle and shoots great. Also uh, 15 rounds of uh, 22 magazine. This won't be out there forever for that prices of uh, less than a hundred dollars. They will dry up and uh, in a few years you'll say ha. Ah, why I didn't buy a couple of those nine, nice uh, uh, 22 long rifle uh, 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 rifles. Now, other things to consider. 
are uh, chub guns. Simple chub guns. They run also under $100. These are single shot uh, shotguns that used to be all around in, in the US. You could find them in the, in the hardware stores by the, the lot. And it doesn't get much simpler than, than a, these kind of single shot shotguns. Uh, you can buy them in 12 gauge, which is the more ambiguous one but uh, you can find them in, on the 20 and 16 gauge also. And they're just such a bargain that, that you won't find them uh, later. You may say, what should I, what can I do with a single shot uh, shotgun? Well, basically anything that you can do with a multiple shot, uh, shotgun the only thing is that you know it's a simple thing and you can use it for training just to have it just to you know uh, have an option on what you might be up to someday you can test uh, you can have one to, to test your your loads of, of different uh, handmade whatever you want to do with uh, with uh, uh, shotgun shells or uh, that crazy idea that you have about uh, you, uh, your uh, slug, special slug of shotgun shell and you can test them on this very cheap uh, but robust uh, shotguns. Now, there are also uh, some other uh, bargains out there. This is a 1924 uh, pump uh, shotgun and and it runs really great. It doesn't look good because it has been used a long a lot but with a with a little bit of uh, care and love I can get this back into a great shape on the looks and with a very low uh, cost. How can I do that? Well, again, a little bit of uh, uh, sanding and staining and brush bluing or I'll, I'll, I'll might try something else on this shotgun because, you know, there's nothing left to be uh, guard that the, the, almost all the all the all the finish is gone so i can uh, test uh, new ways of of bluing so that's it for today it, you should check things that are very cheap there are very uh, common but you can see that in the future they will be gone. Nobody is making these anymore, and they are a great addition to the to your collection or just to to your own um, for your own use. Uh, thank you for your uh, looking at this video, and hope you to see you soon again.